Let's go through the details of the trade control panel. First, we have opened the panel, but let's close it here. However, note it is still open and live because the padlock icon is open and green. We've just hidden the panel. We now have new options to cancel all open orders or close the open position. If you want to close the TCP, then click here on the drop down and select off and click on the TCP padlock icon again. A very important note, however, if you still have open positions or orders, they will remain in the live market. So make sure to properly manage your orders. Let's open it again and select both. Note the pin icon here. Suppose we jump to another chart and then jump back again. You can see it turned off my TCP panel. However, if I select both and click on the pin icon, and if I jump to another chart and then jump back, now the TCP panel remains open. Here you'll see the info panel. That shows my position, average position price, and other information. Hover over each area for a definition via the tooltip. Right click on the panel, select configure to see the various options here. Underneath is the order duration type of good till cancel, fill or kill, and immediate or cancel. A good till cancel order stays active until you cancel it. With fill or kill, suppose I have an order of 10 lots. It must fill all 10 lots else it will be canceled. With immediate or cancel, a partial fill of that 10 lot order is allowed but the unfilled remainder will be canceled. Here you have stop order type of market or limit. It is recommended to use market. However, if you prefer to use limit, then you have options to manage the offset here in ticks. Let's reselect market. Underneath is the stop order durations of good till cancel, fill or kill, or immediate or cancel. The next panel is the trade volume size. You can use one of the pre-select amounts, use the arrows, or simply manually input the desired trade size. Here you can reset to zero. Or if you select this box, then every time you set an order in the market, the size will reset to zero. If you right click on the panel and select customize sizes, then you can add the sizes of your own choice. Next is the order cancel panel, where you can cancel all open pending orders on the offer, on the bid, or cancel all. If the flatten button below is pressed, then any open positions are first closed, and then any open pending orders are then canceled. Next is the quick trade panel, Hover over each button and read the tooltip to understand exactly what each button does. There's an option to reverse a position here. If pressed, it closes your open position, then opens a reverse position of the same size. Note that all open pending orders are not canceled. Next are the options for special order types of OCO, or one cancels the other order, bracketed orders with take profit and stop loss, and trailing stop orders. We'll cover these in a different video.